I'm gonna be comparing the two Grinch movies to the low cash or low key cinematic universe of, from India. There's three Indian films that are part of this shared universe Kathy, Vikram, and Leo. I've seen Leo, haven't seen the other two movies. I've seen the 2018 Grinch film from Illumination, but not the live action version from 2000 with Jim Carrey. When it comes to the highest score for each franchise, you got a 100% for Kathy. With Grinch, the highest score is literally only a 59% for the 2018 film. Then we look at the lowest score with the Low Cash Cinematic Universe. The movie Vikram has the lowest score of 59%. When you look at Grinch, the 2000 movie only has a 49%, so Low Cash wins again. Then when you look at average score, Low Cash has an average of 80, Grinch only has an average of 54. Then when you look at gap between lowest and highest score, you have a gap of 10 in the case of Grinch, a gap of 41 in the case of the Loki Cinematic Universe. So Grinch wins here, but Loki Cinematic Universe already won three rounds, so it's going to win regardless. But let's look at my personal opinion. Now, I definitely have more nostalgia for Grinch, that is for sure, because I remember as a little kid reading Dr. Seuss stories, many people can relate to that, because the stories from... Dr. Seuss, Grinch, Cat in the Hat, the Lorax, Green Eggs and Ham are stories that a lot of kids have read. They're really iconic, well-known. Now, I saw Leo for the first time not too long ago. It was within the past year, I'm pretty sure. I definitely remember enjoying that a lot. So I wanted to watch it because first of all it's based on either a comic book or a graphic novel secondly i wanted to actually do something different and watch an indian film normally i'm watching movies from hollywood not foreign films so this was a very interesting change of pace and when it comes to the 2018 grinch film i remember watching it for the first time and having fun with it for sure and i think that there's good visuals here. I like the actor that plays the Grinch. He gives a good performance. In general, the story is one that hits well. And you have this guy, the Grinch, who doesn't like Christmas at all, so grouchy, but then learns the true meaning of Christmas, ends up being happy, celebrating it with the people in this town, and returns back to them all the things he stole from them. It's a story that works emotionally. That's one of the big reasons why it's such an iconic, well-known story. Plus, the Grinch theme song is iconic as well. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. Your head is full of socks. I don't remember all the words off the top of my head, but I certainly remember the tune. Now, I will say that in the 2018 Grinch movie, because it's from... Illumination, you have singing and dancing, and I mean, well, that's fun. It's also like, um, do we need that in the story? I mean, the story as is already works really well. We don't honestly need to add this singing and dancing to a Dr. Seuss story, so yeah, that does hold things back. It makes it so I mean, the movie isn't fantastic. It's one that I enjoy, one that I like, but I wouldn't say it's one of my favorite animated films. I think I'm actually going to choose the low catch cinematic universe, even though I do have more nostalgia for Grinch. So in that way, these films are easier to watch for me, but it just seems like the low catch cinematic universe is more well done. It was really fun seeing Leo to see how much energy the film has and how badass our main character is. He's just awesome. <laughs> Plus, I like the way the movie looked. I like the story being told. I, I thought the action was a lot of fun. Very entertaining, memorable, well done. 
So I would definitely say that I prefer Leo to the 2018 Grinch film. So I prefer the Little Patch Cinematic Universe. To be clear, I've seen the movie Doctor. I've seen the movie Horton Hears a Who from Blue Sky Studios. I've seen the Illumination movie Lorax before, but I, I haven't actually rewatched it any time recently. I've not seen the Cat in the Hat movie before. I haven't seen the show Green Eggs and Ham that's on Netflix. But I definitely am familiar with Dr. Seuss movies. I've seen a good amount of them, even if I haven't rewatched some of them recently as is the case with the Lorax. That'll wrap things up for this one. Bye everyone.